allow children to ask why. And even young babies sometimes can be thinking this. Because sometimes when the mother is so involved in the nappy changing and the bottom rubbing and the mouth feeding and the child is trying to get your attention with his eyes and his smile, mother is not paying attention. Maybe this is what he's thinking. So it's very important for us to understand that we are here for pep talk and bond smart which focuses, which tries to make every parent focus on that most important organ in the human body, which is the brain. We know today that we all, at some level or the other, are quite depressed with the race of life, with the kind of stresses that we face in our daily life, and especially so mothers and sisters. They have so much of stress trying to plan for the future of their children. And what we are trying to do at Pep Talk and Bond Smart is to just help you make that parenting journey easy and pleasurable. Every baby is born with 50% of the brain completed because that's how your genes are made. 50%, which is the rest of the brain, is on the parents to develop. And so the first 1,000 days are the most crucial and the most important. So this brain, which we are trying to build right from the early childhood, needs good caregivers, whether it's the parent, the father, or the mother. So let's understand, the brain requires three simple things. So what are those three simple things that every parent can give to every child? The first one, interactions with caring adults. There has to be an ongoing interaction with your baby, or your child, or your toddler, or your youngster. It can't be a one-way process. Your communication with your child can't be all about, what did you do in school today? What was the teacher wearing in school today? Who said next takes to you today? Don't sit next to him from tomorrow. That's instructions. That's not communicating. You need to communicate. Communicating is like a tennis match. But a tennis match which has no results or only positive results. So it's very important that parents understand that we need to have good interactions with children, play interactions. And for that, the first thing we need to remember is what is said on flights. Before you put the oxygen mask on others, please put it on yourself. And I say this very strongly today because mothers think that they are made on this earth for sacrifices, right? So you ask a mother, when was the last time you did something for yourself? No, 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 I have to look after my husband and I have to look after my child. How will you look after the two of them if you can't look after yourself? Very, very important. So play, Born Smart is all about play. Play with your children. Whatever time you have, whatever objects you have at home, have interactions with your child. Play is all about losing, winning, having fun, having arguments, having discussions. That's life. That's what you're teaching your child, that life is an easy journey. It has its challenges, but nothing is impossible. So what's the second best thing that you can give your child's brain? You can keep your child's brain away from stress. There are two types of stress, good stress and toxic stress. What is good stress? Meeting new people, uh, going to a new class, having a new class teacher. These are good stresses because then your child is able to cope with unknown challenges, day-to-day -day challenges. You can support your child through these stresses. Toxic stress. which is rampant today is this, which is smacking and spanking children. We did a survey in 2012 and we found that 62, 69% uh, of parents were spanking their children. And the numbers have not gone very down in 2015. 62% of parents still end up smacking and spanking their children. That means there is a problem. It's not the parents to be blamed. What and why are things going wrong? Are you seeking help at the right time? Or are you waiting when your child becomes a teenager? Complaints start coming from school. He starts getting addicted to social media, drugs. And then and only then will you start to wake up and take it a little seriously? 
because toxic stress is not good for your child's brain if punishment was working then life wouldn't be so difficult so positive chemistry shetty spoke about that you need to have relationships there's nothing wrong in fighting or being firm or shouting when required but you don't go to the extent of abuse of trauma because it's very difficult for the human brain to recover from trauma so the third thing that parents should give every child's brain is to understand that the brain is made for executive brain function so the only difference between us and the brains of apes is the thinking part of the brain and that's what you need to develop what you need to focus on when you are talking to your child when you are trying to make things right with your child so what do you need to do with your young children you need to teach them self regulation a lot of mothers say my child is hyper active and the first thing i always tell them one of you must be because it all comes from the genes but seriously what is this hyper active i don't know why we are so hyper about children being hyper active and when you ask them their definition of hyperactive she tells me i have a 3 year old child who can't sit straight for 5 minutes you want a 3 year old to sit straight for 5 minutes for what <laughs> to give his iit exam it's their brain development years they will touch they will move they will talk they will giggle they will do all that because that's how their stimulation is going to the brain so how the self regulation come about there are three stages steiner also says the same thing he says you need to change your parenting style with the age of the child you can't talk to a 14 year old the way you spoke to a 4 year old you can't spy on a 13 year old they don't like it stage 2 starts from 18 months to 4 years and this is where you explain to children about why you don't want the child to do certain things the no and why you are saying the no and 4 to 6 years most important years because that's when your prefrontal cortex actually starts kicking in so if at that age you talk sensibly to children then they will not behave like monkeys so it's our duty as citizens of this world to nurture healthy brains i know the psychiatrists today are bogged down with the amount of age problems and the teenagers which are facing a lot of problems in schools in colleges please understand that the teenager did not drop from another planet it was a child which did not receive the most important interactions and nurturing during his growth years which has led to what the child is today you will have to look after your child whatever age he is now because it's your child